Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. We are back in Minecraft and as you can see on the screen 1.16.2 is now released for Java. I think it releases for Bedrock Edition later on today at some point but as of now it is out for Java Edition. So everything new in the 1.16 update there is new accessibility features. Um, so you can uh, remove the effects of nausea um, in nether portals. Um, at lower values, the nausea effect will be replaced with a green overlay. And builders a few from speed and stuff like that, you can now adjust as well. Um, chat delay chat delay has been added to chat settings at the screen. It used to be on, I think, accessibility. Um, F3D now clears the pending chat messages as well. Uh, Bastion Remnants. Uh, tweak the Bastion Remnant chest loot. Chest in the Bastions are now more likely to be zip positioned on top of Gilded Blackstone. That is to stop uh, people putting hoppers under them without the piglings getting mad. Because obviously if you break Gilded Blackstone, piglings will get angry at you. So it's a lot harder to get um, loot out of them now. Blocks Brunstand that can now be crafted with Blackstone. Lanterns and Soul Lanterns can now be waterlogged. Crimson and Warp Fungus can now be placed on Nylium. Chains can now be placed in um, horizontal and vertical. Uh, tools are now sorted based on material in the creative inventory. Terms of dying now give the fire resistance status for uh, effect for 14 seconds when activated. Endermen will no longer place their block held on bedrock edition. Uh, on bedrock edition? On bedrock blocks. Uh, Zoglins can now be leashed. When a zombified pigling is spawned riding a strider. It will now be holding a warp fungi on a stick. That is a cool change. Once again, herobrine has been removed for the 500th time. Um, piglings are added pigling brutes. Piglings can now uh, now become angry when a uh, who opens a uh, or destroys a chest minecart. So if you open a chest minecart or destroy it, they will actually get angry at you now. Um, and the bartering loot has been tweaked. Um, Pigling Brutes. Pigling Brutes are stronger versions of Piglings that live in Bastions and protect the treasure there. Unlike their cowardly and greedy counterparts, the Pigling Brutes that cannot be distracted by gold or aren't afraid of anything either. Uh, Pigling Brutes attack players on sight, um, no matter how they are dressed. Pigling Brutes uh, wield axes and don't need any armor because they're just that tough. Also, um, Pigling Brutes um, also have... Um, uh, like lower sites, so they won't see you at from as many blocks away as piglings. Um, respawn block positions that modify how respawn positions of are chosen for beds and respawn anchors. Respawn anchors will prioritize um, uh, cardinal directions over corners. Beds will prioritize the size of the beds the player entered from, and then spaces circles around the foot of the bed up to the head of the bed. Uh, respawning players will now face the block they are respawned at. Placing uh, placing players into dangerous blocks is now avoided when possible. Uh, villagers are now now emit green particles when joining a village, setting a home, bed, or requiring a job slash uh, profession. Villagers now lose their job when changing dimensions. There are some technical changes, so if you guys want to pause the video to read the che technical changes, um, I will slowly uh, s scroll through them. And that is them. So if you want to pause the video and read them, then you can. And that bugs. A total of 150 bugs have been fixed in this release. For some weird reason, they haven't actually listed the bugs. Can we see the bugs? Um, I don't know if these are... Maybe these are the bugs that are fixed, but they don't actually list them in this change log. So let's now jump to Minecraft and see some of these changes in-game. Right, so guys, as you can see, I am in a brand new world in 1.16.2, as you can see in the top uh, corner there. So now let's see some of the new things. So if we get villagers, they will now um, show particles when connecting to a bed or a workstation. So any workstation, let's just get the loom. And also chains uh, have had some changes. So if I place a villager down, as you can see, he had green particles. If I break that and place it down again, there will be green particles when they um, get the profession. As you saw, he connected to the bed, 
So you now know when they connect to a certain uh, thing. Which it don't look like he's picking the bed that often. But he will pick the workstation as you can see. And chains can now be placed um, horizontal and vertical. It depends on the block you are looking at. So if you're looking at like this type of the block, it will place upwards. If you're looking at the side of the block, it will place sideways. Um, I'm pretty sure it also, yeah. So it can also go off chains, but they don't connect. Um, so yeah, chains can now go horizontal, which is a good change for quite a lot of reasons. So that is the villager changes. That is also the chain changes. Also totems of undying. If I quickly grab a totem, put in my offhand, fly up a few blocks, and then go into uh, survival. As you can see, when the totem activates, we get fire resistance for 40 seconds. So you should now be able to survive in lava for a little bit, but not much. Right, so guys, the next change is, if you go into, obviously, this screen, and go to options, and then accessibility settings, here is the effects. So if they're on 100, that is them on. Uh, you'll get the full effects that it possibly can give. This is for field of few, so like speed and stuff like that. And this is for like nausea and stuff like that. So the lower it is, the let's turn it off. The less it will do it, uh, because we're in creative, uh, you go straight through and never pause. So let's quickly go into survival. And as you can see, we don't get a shakiness, although we're still going through it. Um, we don't get like, if I turn it back on, we don't get like this sort of where your screen shakes, which is a good change, but if you actually get nausea, then it will turn your screen uh, green, with, or like a faint green around it. So now let's go and try and find one of the main mobs in this, uh, or one of the main features in this update. Right, so guys, we are now at Bastion, and as you can see, can we? Yes, here you go. A pigling brute. They walk around with axes. They do have their own spawn egg. And they wear black uh, clothes instead of the pigling's original brown. When they get sent to the overworld, they will be turned into piglings. Uh, uh, zombified piglings, sorry. They will not turn into a special variant of the pigling. Um, and this shield, they have a lot more HP than the piglings, but they walk around and they will not respawn. Once you have killed them all in the bastion, you then have to go find another bastion if you want to find another one. Um, which is a bit uh, annoying, but it's also thingy. And here is the other change, where uh, blackstone, gilded blackstone spawns under chests. Then it should spawn under, I think, a majority of the chests. It, it may not spawn under every single chest, but it will spawn under, like, 90% of them. If I can find another chest somewhere. I hate these uh, bastions. Uh, as you can see, that one's got gilded blackstone under it too. Then there should be a double chest up here. What happens with a double chest? Um... Okay, so only one of them's, so you can still put Hopper under this one. So obviously this one's not got Gilded Blackstone under it either, and there's an Iron Sword in there with Mending. Okay, that's a new uh, pool change. So this one also haven't, hasn't got Gilded Blackstone, and neither has either of these. So there are quite a few uh, ones that don't spawn with Gilded Blackstone still, so you can still put the Hopper under it. Um, to feed the loot out of these. And Iron Blocks is also a new uh, change in the loot pools, I think. Right, so guys, the last change we are going to talk about is Piglings. They have had barter, their barter loot um, adjusted to remove Glowstone and to remove uh, Magma Cream. They will now give you uh, Blackstone and, as you saw, Spectral Arrows. They also got an item added, which was Water Bottles. Um, just so you can now, uh, get, like, potions in the nether from, uh, completely nether-only survival, no going to the overworld. So I want to see if we can actually get a water bottle or blackstone from him. Um, so let's just keep, there you go, we got 11 blackstone. So, that is a AFK way to farm blackstone now, which is pretty good. It looks like they're hunting that, uh, pigling. 
And it looks like he's going in for the hunt. These, as you can see, you cannot click gold on them. They don't care about the gold. If you throw it, they will not pick the gold up. They literally do not care about anything. So you cannot um, give these gold to stop them from attacking you. They will attack you if they see you no matter what unless you get away from them. So that is everything or most things in the 1.16.2 update. I will link the patch notes in the description if you guys want to read them. And I have a realm that, it will, be, that will be updating to 1.16.2. Um, probably about the time this video goes up. So if you want to join it, it's Minecraft Java Edition. Feel free to drop your IGNs in the comments and I'll invite you. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.